This quick guide will walk you through connecting one audio source as an input, one pair of speakers for Zone 1, and the WGW SLX gateway to control the system with the HDD Home Audio app. Before powering on the MC66, connect your audio source to source input number 1. In this example, we'll be using a Wi-Fi music streamer. Using the included cable, connect the WGW SLX gateway to the MC66 audio controller. Also, connect an Ethernet cable to the router broadcasting your network, or follow the instructions in the manual to connect the gateway wirelessly. Using RCA cables, connect the Zone 1 variable out on the MC66 to the corresponding amplifier channels. For Zone 1, it will be amplifier channels 1 and 2. The amplifier will power the speakers for this zone. Run speaker wire from the amplifier to your Zone 1 speakers. Connect the wire securely to the amplifier's outputs. We recommend using banana plugs to make the process easier and so you can easily make adjustments at any time in the future. Plug the mono 3.5mm trigger cable into trigger out on the MC66 controller and in on the amplifier. Make sure that on your amplifier the power switch is set to trigger. Using trigger mode will allow the amplifier to remain in sleep mode until a zone is powered on. This lowers power consumption when the system isn't being used. Plug in the MC66, WGW SLX gateway, amplifier, and Wi-Fi streamer. Ensure that the MC66 and amplifier are turned on. You now have everything wired to get audio out of zone number one using source number one as the audio output. Now let's get the home audio app and the Wi-Fi streamer set up. Make sure your phone or tablet is on the same Wi-Fi network that the router connected to the WGW SLX gateway is using. Now go to the App Store or Google Play, search for HTD Home Audio, and install the HTD Home Audio app. Once you open the app, it should automatically scan your Wi-Fi network to search for the whole house audio system and display the IP address of the gateway under systems nearby. Side note, with iOS, you may have to allow permissions for the app to communicate with devices on your network. If this is needed, you will receive a pop-up requesting permission, and you should tap Allow. Tap on the IP address displayed under Systems Nearby, and you'll be prompted to give the system a name. The default is My House, but you can change this if you prefer. Once connected, you'll see the System Status page. This is where you can control whether a zone is on or off, adjust the volume, and select the audio source for the zone. With app installation and connection complete, you're now ready to set up your Wi-Fi streamer. Install and open the app for the Wi-Fi streamer. Using the in-app prompts as well as the documentation included with the streamer, complete the setup. You can now send music from your phone or tablet into the system to listen to in any zone of your home. To begin listening on the system, open your preferred music streaming service, select the Wi-Fi streamer to send the music to, power on zone number one in the home audio app, select SRC1 as the source, and tap the volume number to adjust the volume. Congratulations! You now have your HTD system set up with zone number one connected and running. Follow the same steps to connect the remaining speakers and any other audio sources you'd like. You'll likely want to take advantage of additional features in the HTD Home Audio app. Use it to create unique names for your zones and sources, adjust treble and bass for each zone, limit which zones and sources are available to each user, and display shortcuts to popular streaming services. Advanced features allow you to create macros that execute multiple commands across all zones from a single button press, and set up control via Alexa, Google Home, and Siri. Follow the link on screen or in the description below to learn more. You can also add additional accessories to your mid-level system, such as wall controllers, audio balance if you need to get audio from a source that is not in the central equipment location, and the BTX Bluetooth receiver if you need a Bluetooth input located within one of your zones. For more information, or to contact us directly, visit htd.com.